If you're struggling with urinary issues related to a swollen prostate, such as getting up multiple times at night or rushing to the toilet in the day, you might be exploring your treatment options beyond just medication or the traditional surgery, namely the TURP. In this video, I wanted to explain to you the process of prostatic arterial embolization, or PAE, a treatment, an alternative treatment to manage urinary symptoms to answer the questions that you may have with this regard. Hi, my name is Dr. Charles Chabert. I'm a urologist and director of the Prostate Clinic located on the Gold Coast in Australia. Over the last couple of decades, I've counseled thousands of men with regards to their urinary issues and treatment options that they have available to them. As always, please, if you get benefit from the video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, turn on your notifications bell so you don't miss our videos, which actually come out twice a week, looking at all things related to men's health and prostatic issues. Okay, let's get into it. So PAE, or prostatic arterial embolization, what, what is it? In essence, it is a more minimally invasive treatment option to manage urinary symptoms that are related to a big or a swollen prostate. The way it works in essence is that it is a procedure that's done in the x-ray department and it's performed usually by a radiologist. Radiologists are x-ray specialists and the way that they perform the procedure is similar to the way an angiogram is performed. So this procedure is done, as I say, in an outpatient setting, and it involves basically putting a small catheter into one of the arteries, usually in the thigh, and that's the femoral artery. The femoral artery is the main artery that supplies the leg, and these x-ray doctors put a little cannula into that artery and then follow the arterial tree up until they can find the blood vessels that supply the prostate. When they do find the blood vessels to the prostate, they inject uh, various components to basically try to block off the blood supply to the prostate. That basically is the nuts and bolts of this procedure. An embolization, or in essence, where we block off the feeding blood vessels to the prostate. Obviously not all of the blood vessels to the prostate, but we occlude sufficient blood supply to the prostate that ultimately with time results in shrinkage or atrophy of the prostate. And the vision is that when we shrink the prostate, we get relief from urinary symptoms. If you'd like to be part of our growing community, please follow the link in the comment section down below and sign up to our free newsletter that comes out on a weekly basis, keeping you up to date with all aspects related to prostate health and various treatments that are available uh, for men. Now back to the video. Okay, so what can you expect? Well, really, you may have heard me talk previously about various other minimally invasive treatment options such as ITIND, Resume, Urolift. If men have minimally invasive treatment options, what we can expect usually is about a 50% improvement in their urinary function. Now, many of you may be aware of something called the International Prostate Symptom Score. And if you've seen a urologist, you may have had to fill out one of these scores previously. In essence, it is a self-reported questionnaire that men fill out when they go and see the specialist. And it's a questionnaire out of 35. And what we do with that is assess the severity of someone's symptoms. With minimally invasive treatment options, we can expect, as I say, a 50% reduction in that score. So for example, if you came in and you had a score of 24 out of 35, with time, uh, we would expect resolution in that score down to around 12. So ballpark, 45 to 50% improvement in that score. Flow rates, which is another metric by which we uh, determine how effective someone's treatment has been, these flow rates can improve by around 30 to 50%. And with time, we expect the prostate to shrink by around 20 to 30%. So as you can see, with PAE, 
it tends to be a bit of a slow burner. Do not expect any immediate improvement in your urinary symptoms. It takes time for the ischemia or the lack of blood supply to the prostate to take hold and affect shrinking of the prostate. In many ways, it's not dissimilar to resume. Resume is a treatment whereby we inject steam into the prostate and that steam basically denatures proteins and with time the body reabsorbs the cells within the prostate that have been killed by that treatment. And so when I'm counseling men about resume, I tell them not to expect any benefit for at least three weeks and beyond that, a, gradu a gradual steady improvement in the way that they pee. The same thing can be said uh, for PAE. Okay, well, what about the retreatment rate? Well, the majority of people with PAE are happy out to around three to five years, but the retreatment rate is around 10 to 20%. So in essence, what that means is that men do not get the benefit that they uh, expect or want to have, or they do get transient benefit, but they develop recurrence in their symptoms within that time frame. Now, for the majority of people, sexual function, which includes both ejaculation and erectile function, is pre preserved, excuse me, for the majority of people. Um, but there can be around 5 to 10% of people that do notice changes. Okay, so what are the downsides to having PAE? Well, in, in essence, uh, there can be some issues related to the puncture site of the angiogram, in essence. So men can have pain or bruising, sometimes swelling at the site that that puncture is performed. It's also possible that men can have changes in their urinary function with some irritation to begin with. And irritation really manifests as a bit more frequency or urgency, uh, sometimes some burning to the way that they pee. It's also possible for men to experience some blood in their urine or blood in their ejaculate fluid at that time. More significant uh, complications are rare. They're definitely possible. And there were more of those in the early part of uh, working out if PAE was a reliable way to treat men with urinary issues. So to summarize, PAE or prostatic arterial embolization, it is a treatment option that men have available to them. It is at the more minimally invasive end of the spectrum, but can be associated with the complications uh, related to the puncture to perform an angiogram. Uh, it is pretty safe for the majority of people. It can improve symptoms uh, by around 50%. Uh, and there is a small retreatment rate around 10 to 20 percent at around three to five years. If you have comments or questions, uh, please leave them in the comment section down below. If you'd like to know more about your prostate, please have a look at this video or potentially this video here. Until the next time, please take care of your prostate.